Wow, what's poppin' people? We back in the building, man. Reaction videos like never before. Red G TV. You dead. This part two with OG Persia, like I told y'all. You feel me? So, just a continuation of where it left off. So, let the boy finish getting his point across, man. So, with whatever you just signed in, whatever they just said, hit the gavel and said, that's what you got? You went over there and rolled that thumb? You had just become a part of the system, no not offense. the state, not the penitentiary, the system. The system. Hmm. Hey, they got you now. Hmm. Who's the, who was the biggest nigga you say you fought? And what was the outcome of that? Was that the? the biggest nigga I ever fought was John Chris. Shout out to John Chris, 75 years egg. I fought him. He split my nose in the middle. Ooh, uh, shit. Uh, I had to get down. How big uh, was this nigga, would you say? Uh, John, John Chris was on this shit. John Chris was a big nigga. Uh, uh, I, uh. Tell us from a crib. One night I was in my cell and uh, a nigga said, um, I was new in the cell. I was downtown in West Texas and they was going fishing that night. They fishing for the new niggas. And my, my city name was Larry Griffin. Uh, I was on the cell and all I remember, me and my partner, uh, Larry Barber, we got shipped over there with the grown niggas that were fighting it. Cause we was over there fighting where the young niggas was at and the young niggas told it on us. So they sent us somewhere we could fight. And we walked in there, I heard a young old nigga say, hey man, don't, don't bring them kids in this motherfucker, man. <laughs> Get them niggas out of here, you gonna get them kids hurt. And I'm like to my nigga, who the fuck you talking about, nigga? Yeah. She ain't nobody gonna hurt me. That was my attitude. Not bad. Uh, so I get in the cell and uh, that night they went fishing. I never heard, forget this nigga say, say, um, Larry. And I heard my celly say, what's up? He said, um, what's your celly doing? When you did that, I was, <laughs> what the fuck you talking about? I'm just selling, nigga. Yeah. I, I start eating. Yeah, I was up there eating a the moon pot and, and a bag of Cheetos. Nigga, stop, yeah, stop eating. And so I never get the nigga looked up there, he said, uh, uh look like he eating a moon pot and a bag of Cheetos. Oh, shit. He said, hmm, I wish I had some of that moon pie. I said, oh, shit, oh, nah, nigga. Yeah, no, nah, nigga. And nigga said, I wish I had some of that chocolate moon pie. No. Nah. I said, man, oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, man. I said, look out, man. Now, on, on every, I said, I don't play that shit, nigga. I don't play that motherfucking shit at all, niggas. I said, whoever said that, nigga, in the morning, let the doors be the bell, bitch. I don't play none of that. That's how, that's how I rock, nigga. When these doors open in the morning, whoever talking that shit, in the morning, the door, let the doors be the bell, nigga. Yeah. Then I never forget, they got quiet. Mm -hmm. Then I never forget, you know, I'm telling you something about jail and prison. He ain't got no love for you. Right. Yeah. yeah. I heard a nigga say, ooh, John. <laughs> that nigga got you quiet in the motherfucker now, now. Oh, and he said, man, no. fuck that nigga. And I never, that's all he said after that. Ooh. Well, in the morning, we gonna see. That's right. all I'm saying. Now, one thing about them kind of threats, nigga, um, you, you know you, see. um, they, um, not like what you new niggas do. Yeah, you gotta see them through. Now, it's not the new nigga shit. You new nigga, on crib, I'ma get out and get that nigga. On blood, nigga, I'll be in the morning. You know? On crib, I'll be out there in blood. On and don't do a motherfucking thing. No, you gotta see that Yeah, y'all blow that shit up every day, all day, man. That shit old now. Yeah. That shit don't mean nothing no more. And that's on crib. Yeah. <laughs> shit. Yeah. So, um, but when you say something now, now you got everybody watching. Everybody ain't got nothing to do but wait till the morning for the bells to roll, for them doors roll to see if you the nigga you say you is, or if not, nigga, you just became a weak nigga. Uh, yeah, so real. when that morning came, I walked inside the day room and I was talking to my partner. I'm like, damn, who the fuck? You know, so I don't know, you know, I'm waiting for somebody to say something. And so I never forget my partner said, uh, I said, cuz, man, uh, who the niggas talking shit? He said, that's the niggas over there. So I looked over there, I said, oh shit. <laughs> that's the niggas? He said, yeah, that's the niggas right there. I said, oh, shit. They don't say nothing, I ain't gonna say nothing. Fuck it. Yeah. Them niggas, they'll be in a hole. So when I said, I start to play a little chess. Y'all have y'all been watching me? I play chess real nice out here in life. Talk that's my you. game. So I started to play a little chess. They don't that eating. I went to my homeboy, Ken Wayne Marion and said, we called him Stack. He a big nigga. So I went to his name, um, I said, Stack. I said, you hear that nigga talking shit to me last night? That nigga said, yeah, I heard that nigga. I said, he said, man, you know, see, me, I'm trying to use a chess piece. I'm trying to use Stack for a pun. Mm -hmm. You know, and Stack say something for me. Well, Stack said something for me and to me. He said, well, you need to take care of your business. I said, man, shit. That was, that was his chess move, take care of your business. Yeah. Well, it's my chess move now. Uh, I ain't got no shoes. <laughs> and that's his chess move. He said, look under the bump. <laughs> God damn. Yeah. Yeah. I said, oh, <laughs> yeah, pair of shoes. He had a partner off from there at the time. His name was P.I., one of my cousins. We called him Pi Igerhart. Uh, yeah, yeah called him Big P.I. He was sitting right there on the bunk at the time. 
Yeah. And P.I. looked around and he said, yeah. He said, yeah, get them shoes wrapped up. They, I didn't even know me and P.I. was in the Ken before this time. Oh, damn. You know, yeah, you know. I get the shoes and uh, he said, well, put them on. Um, y'all don't see how big that nigga is in them? That's why, you know, really, but I can't say that because that'll make me look weak. <laughs> yeah, so real. when he pulled the shoes out, and it's only thing, one thing to do. <laughs> Time to get Talk it. to him. You over there. Look at him. <laughs> what? Talk to him. So, okay, now I'm, I'm putting them on and laced up. Now, I got ready to walk out the door, and this is where it gets real for all you niggas that want to play chess and think you're playing with, with, with chess masters. Well, I was playing chess master at the time. Yeah. Mm. Before I got ready to walk out the door, he said, hey, hold on. You see, you see, see the bottom of them shoes? I said, yeah. He said, you see them, um, them little stripes I got on the bottom of them shoes? I said, yeah, it look like, some little, uh, like you've been keeping score. He said, you right. He said, them all the wins in that shoe. Don't bring my shoes back with no loss on it. Ooh, chess master. Chess master. <laughs> <laughs> now, what, is, is it my move? <laughs> and how's your move? Huh? <laughs> that mean what? They, they, they ain't even putting me in a stale, man. I'm in a stale your... made position. You got me in a corner. I can't move this way because he got protection on his piece. I can't go this way because the queen will get me. He'll take my queen. Now, goddamn, what do I do? So I go in there and I walk in the day room and the nigga's sitting on the table looking at the stories. Man, it was like, not paying me no dick, nigga. And I said, oh. They ain't saying shit. So I busted out and I said to myself, no, fuck it. I'm just going to say something. They don't do, you know, I'm going in. So I had my little partner coming up. He had his shoes on. He give up the motherfucking game. Now, I got mine on, but I'm not looking like my partner. My partner come on. He, he didn't put his motherfucking shit all in his socks. He got yeah. his goddamn clothes, bobbing pants in his socks. His shit rolled up. Nigga, you giving the game up. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, niggas yeah. don't know what nigga come to do. Y'all hold on. Lay hold on, because they might don't want to fight. Shit. <laughs> Damn. So I go in there talking to him. I said, man, which one you niggas talking shit last night? And I never forget. Big nigga in the middle. He looked at me and said, hey, man, move on somewhere. <laughs> 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 nigga, he said, don't do that, man. Don't do me like that, man. Hey. That, that, that was it. He said, man, move. They watching TV like we watching the story. And he looked at me, hey, man, move. Mm. I guess they don't want to do nothing. So by this time, I turn around and look back at the balls, and I seen Kenneth Wayne standing there. Big stack, he came out and said, now I got to sit you going to fight this nigga or you going to have to go back and fight that nigga you got to I said, say, man. I said, I went back. I said, nigga, next time don't be talking no shit. And he said, man, you better go on somewhere. When he said, I took off like a baseball pitch on him. Ooh. Put that bitch in my leg. <laughs> I got right off. Fire the big nigga. That's the first time I ever hit a nigga and didn't rock him. Right. That's the first time I hit a nigga. I hit a man. I put it like this. I hit a man. I hit something solid. I hit something that wasn't no little boy. I hit something that wasn't going nowhere. I hit something that didn't drop and fall, nigga. Yeah. When I hit him, he pulled out a pencil out of his pocket and he stabbed me in my back. When he stabbed me in my back with the pencil, I started fighting him off of him. We went to fight and I got the drop on him in the shower. I turned around, his big partner, John Chris, walked up and hit me right in my motherfucking nose and split my whole goddamn nose. And I had to go get me some stitches on the inside of my nose. I like, God damn, when he grabbed me, hit me in the nose, he grabbed me by my neck, he picked me up, he ran me against the balls. I tried to throw my feet back to catch the ball, but my head hit the balls, and he split my head right here on the top. Ooh. And I still got the little scar right there today to show y'all. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. Yeah, you see that? And he split my head. So I got blood running down my thing. I got pencil lead in my back, and God damn, this nigga that split my nose. But I'm fighting. So the nigga went for the choke. He wasn't even, he was old school. Yeah. He wasn't one of them old. Yeah. The nigga had me by my neck on this. And I beat that nigga face in half until he let me go. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I fucked this shit up too. Yeah, because I'm a young nigga, but I'm hitting hard and I'm hitting side. I'm, bitch, let me go. Bitch, yeah. let me Ugh. go. Ho, let me go. He started uh. doing it. Yeah, and half the nigga let me go. I ended up getting shipped to the infirmary that night. Uh, uh, when I got shipped to the infirmary, they took the pencil lid at my back. They gave me stitches in my nose. Uh, I don't feel like I lost no fight. I got up there. Oh. Get back to the biggest nigga I fought. After he let me go, my boy came in out of nowhere, Kid Wayne, big nigga that I got the shoes from. Yeah. And he slapped, pop, and he got the niggas up off of me. Real? Oh. I said, okay, god damn, what were you waiting on? Nigga, they gonna kill a yeah, nigga, yeah, this motherfucking yeah, nigga. God yeah, yeah. ah, damn. <laughs> but you know, he God told me, till I see you fight for yourself, then I got you. Oh. That was a lesson learned. Did y'all catch that? Yeah. yeah. Balls. Chest yeah. Look at <laughs> Chest mess. Yeah, look at him, balls. Um, yeah. And, um, and then the biggest thing happened, he said, which one of them you want to fight? I, I just, I just finished fight. <laughs> he said, pick one. Since they jumped on you, pick one up. Well, shit, I'm good. You know, I fought my way out and shit. Uh, well, fuck it. Come on, John Chris. 
You understand me? Because I just hit that big motherfucker. He didn't move. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to hit him, though. And he stabbed me with a motherfucking pencil. So I'm fucked this motherfucker. He got up there and got to jumping around like Muhammad Ali. <laughs> I said, oh, this nigga old school. Oh, I'm finna rush this shit. You know, I went in and went to swimming. Boom, boom, boom. But that old nigga, pop, 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 pop. Come to find out this nigga had 75 years. Ad. I ain't had no business fucking how that old, how Red said, get in this car, boy. You ain't got no business down here nah, fucking with these people down here. Get on in nah, this car. Real. All I had was two years. Damn. <laughs> now, I ain't had no business. <laughs> Saying nothing to a nigga with 75 eggs that ain't going home and they're fucking with playing with these niggas' time. But a lot of young niggas go in there with that street shit. Let me tell the young niggas something right quick. Don't never think y'all can take the streets to prison. It don't work. And let me tell you niggas in prison. Don't never think you can bring the prisons to the streets. <laughs> it don't work. Nah, that's real. That's real. Let's go. Now, I got to ask, um, you know, uh, you've been gang affiliated. Uh, for a while, and uh, even before I get to that, how long, how, how much time did you do, uh, OG? I um, did enough. Enough, I'm, I'm, put, I'm gonna put that on, I, I stopped counting. I done been 25 twice. Yeah. yeah. I just tell y'all did, I done been 25 twice. Yeah, yeah. youngster. Yeah. Uh, I know some of y'all still in your first 25, and some of y'all trying to make it to your second 25. Well, I done been 25 twice, and um, I fucked off my first 25. <laughs> um, I fucked off half my second 25. Um, I caught on, you know, right at the end of the fourth quarter. I'm still in the, well, I'm at the end of the third quarter. Yeah, I'm in the beginning of the fourth quarter. Mm -hmm. They said, my brother said, I'm in the beginning of the fourth quarter. You only get four quarters in life. There you go. I learned that at my little brother's son funeral. Uh, to one of the great, he get four quarters in life and all. Um, yeah. Right now I'm in the fourth quarter. That's one thing about the fourth quarter. Um, the goddamn clock don't stop ticking. <laughs> facts. Um, ain't no... Timeouts, uh, okay. the hair going to keep leaving, uh, the team going to start falling, you going to start, you in the fourth quarter. I can't waste it. There you go, uh, there you go. Let's go. Now, I say that to say, um, back in the day, uh, you know, how serious was it for a young man who was claiming any type of set to go around false flagging? Oh, it would get you killed immediately. We, that, that, wasn't, that wasn't heard of when we was coming up. Yeah, but I said, um, did, it, did it happen? We used to call it flip flopping. Yeah, flip flopping. Yeah, got a nigga flip flopping. Yeah, did it happen? Because you hear about it. Um, yeah. Movies you, might portray it. Say, back then, you couldn't even get, man, be honest with you, real, real, real talk. If, if, if Nick Hamilton said, man, you know, I need to be hanging with them, them, them fuck niggas. Who oh, cuz do? Yeah, cuz be over there with them other niggas. Back then, you labeled as a, as a flip flop. Them niggas would kill you off. Somebody ride off with you. Mm. And then when you get rolled off with, niggas say, well, you know, a nigga flip flopping. And that's all it took. In the hood to know that you was over there with the other side. <laughs> she could back then, I would have been accused of a flip flopper by now. <laughs> you hear me? Then, flip flop yeah, something, then. flip flop something. You hear me? Yeah. Back, even family members didn't fuck with each other back then. Like, um, even cousins. I, 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 I had, I've had incidents where I cut best friends off because of the set. Damn. Shout out to my nigga Pee Wee and Broderick. Um, right. But we're now today, we, we back brothers like we supposed to be. But um, when it came out, I couldn't fuck with them. So with a situation where you see, um, uh, again, you know, this is all, you know, Hollywood shit as far as what's going on in L.A. Right. Um, when you see a Quando Rondo where he went publicly and said, man, the set ain't riding for me. I'm done with the set. He's supposed to be. He's scared. Mm. You, you know, you, you wasn't built for that when you got in it. Let that be a lesson to you. It's a shame that that man had to lose his life for you to learn something. Damn. Okay. Did y'all catch that? Damn. That's okay, real. I got a lot of heads shaking over yeah, there. That's real. That's real. Let's nah. go then. It's a shame that man had to lose his life for you to learn that you knew that before you got in the game. You knew what was going on before you just, they, they, know, they didn't say we was going camping, nigga. They didn't say we was going on a hike. They didn't say we was going on a bus trip. They didn't say we was catching a flight out here. They said we finna start killing and destroying what's in the neighborhood, nigga. You a part. He said, I want to be a part of that. Then you see something bad happen to somebody, nigga, you gone. You hear them shoes? Yeah. <laughs> As soon as he see a nigga go down, but guess what? That man don't get to say that now. That man don't get, and it probably wasn't no more his fault than it was yours that he laying there. So y'all didn't feel that? So you, so you would have to retire out the game. There is no, there is no, uh, you always active. You become your own man. Okay. That's what I became. I don't give a fuck about no gang shit. This shit right here don't mean nothing to me no more. This shit didn't do nothing for me but get me locked up in a penitentiary. This shit didn't give me nothing but a, a lot, of, lot of time lost with my family. This shit didn't do nothing but throw me on drugs. This shit right didn't do nothing but throw me in a penitentiary. This shit ain't never did nothing for me. 
This shit, this, when I'm gone, this shit right here can't bring me back. Mm. Y'all hear me? Talk to Once you're gone, this don't bring you back. And a lot of niggas put their trust in this right here, and guess what? This right here don't mean shit to me. My brother got killed, and this shit didn't do shit for him. Talk to him. You did what I'm saying? Talk to him. Yeah, and this is something that my brother would have rolled to the end for if it had been you. Talk to but him. he didn't know when he happened to him when nobody ride for him. Yeah. So this shit here don't mean a motherfucking thing to me. You understand me? Uh, and the niggas they rap with it. The niggas that rock with it don't, nigga, because guess what? Uh, I rock with the big homie, the crib guard, Big Tookie Williams. Yeah. Uh, uh. Tookie. The yeah. memo that the crib niggas didn't get that carry this today, Tookie wasn't none of this when he died. The nigga that started, see, that's what y'all didn't get. Let me, let me, can I shoot right quick? Yeah, shoot, shoot. Uh, the memo that the crib niggas missed was this right here. The nigga that started this, Tookie Williams, RIP to the crib guard, Tookie Williams, Raymond Washington. But Tookie Williams, didn't leave here this. Yeah. He didn't leave. He leave here with the community resolution in progress. He wrote book, he wrote Nobel Peace Prize books from his jail cell. Talk about he it. wrote kid books. He had Winnie Mandela coming to visit him. He had Jamie Foxx play a major re- lead role in a movie, Blue, Blue Rage Black Redemption. Talk about it. He didn't leave. If, if, he, was, if he was still on this, when none of them people would put their reputation on the line to sponsor him, help him, and do nothing for him. Uh. They known if y'all would have got the memo as Crips, um, that would have saved a lot of black lives. No, I do. Um, do. Arnold Schwarzenegger knew that. Arnold Schwarzenegger said, oh, no, we can't, we, can't let, we can't let Jesus, we got to put Jesus on the cross. We got to crucify him. Yeah. He's saving too many people. He, you know, he's giving people the way. He from his, they, they know Nobel Peace Prize? Yeah, you got to be a from, from a prison cell? Three of them? Nah, Come on, man. turn yourself. Children's books? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You in the prison doing children uh, seminars from a prison cell? Nah, man, like that you let go. Now, I don't think any type of uh, game member thinks like, oh, we're going to grow up to be CEOs and be able to you know, fix the hood. Well, well Tookie, Tookie Williams didn't leave here with no cripping. Facts. Uh, and so why should I? Talk about it. You hear me? So why should I? Uh, if I'm going to follow something, I'm going to follow it the right way. Amen. You get what I'm saying? That's what I'm doing right now. Why I say I'm on the right train in the right track. A lot of these niggas on the right train, <laughs> wrong track. <laughs> Y'all ain't going nowhere. So what do you yeah. feel about celebrities? Um, you no, know, you see like Lil Wayne, Chris Brown, uh, you know, Quando, you know, when rappers get up, Nipsey. Uh, That's can, the way you're can, supposed to carry it. Yeah, can they, can they be active and still be a celebrity? You'll be a fool if you is active. Mm. What, nigga, what nigga get that high and stay active? Ask Nipsey to get you killed in these streets. Do that make sense to y'all? Yeah. No, look, look, huh? <laughs> Do no, that make sense to y'all? No, yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't, 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 don't get money like that and even say, um, uh, even peak to go backwards. Yeah. I can't, I can't, yeah, I know it, Jeff. I can't, I can't look back because guess what? Yeah. Slippers count. It's going to cost you. It's going to cost, a lot of people be, a lot of celebrity niggas will be alive today if they didn't get caught up. In that. And say, because once you say fuck this, say fuck that. Let be your own self, man. Do your own self thinking. Think for yourself. A man that can think for himself, that's gangster. Can't no nigga tell me shit. You hear me? I'm my own self man. Now I rock with wisdom and knowledge, but I don't rock with no fool. You hear me? Straight you understand me? And I know any I know what a fool is now. I done been one before. <laughs> and I done been fooled once before. You hear what I'm saying? So uh, I don't let this dictate how I move and groove. And I, that's my message to the youth now because the nigga that started this, they if you didn't get the message, go read Blue Rage, Black Redemption. Blue Rage, Black Redemption. Go read that. After you read that and find out what these crips are always running around, man, you know your knowledge about, about this. Now I don't give a fuck about no knowledge, nigga. Because evidently you don't know none. You understand me? If you're not getting this shit back on track like it's supposed to, you ain't trying to say that you like the crip guard was doing. If you ain't trying to put nothing back in the community like he was doing, if you ain't trying to show him the right way, you ain't cripping. Uh, that's how I see it. Anything yeah. other than that is un- uncivilized. Right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, so, now that, so now that you do have a big platform, like, do you have any uh, youth organizations or anything that you got going uh, for the youth? Oh, no, sir, I don't. Um, but um, I have one thing that's going for the youth right now, and that's my voice around yeah. the world. I get a lot of, um, you saved me. Yeah. Um, I, I, I get a lot of, um, if I hadn't listened to that story, I would have done that, homie. Straight up. Uh, I get a lot of that. That that's that's. I feel like I got the ears of the youth right now. How does that feel to get to, to when somebody tells you something like that? Like you uh, really it feel like um, God is using me for what He said He's gonna use me for. 
You understand me? That's how I look at it no more because I, I, me, myself, I'm nobody without him. You know what I'm saying? I know if I take him out of the equation, I'd just be person. That's just person. But um, I didn't know that God would take everything that I went through for my bad. And I shit, I'd have been shit on. I'd been, I don't mind telling people I've been at the bottom. I don't mind telling people I've been on drugs, I done did this, I done did it. It don't say, man, that you can't build my build me. You can't build a barrel here. You hear right. me? I done already built myself. One thing I used to do was care about what people think. Now I don't. Yeah. You know, uh, cause I wonder what first thing you better do, uh, you can never make everybody happy and everybody had their own opinion about you. Right. You dig what I'm saying? So therefore I um I travel my own road. You dig what I'm saying? And uh, I can't lie to myself. And one thing I can't do, I can't run from me. Straight you up. Me? Now let me ask you this, man. Um, we be talking about this. It seems like they keep trying to change the rules on this street shit. <laughs> like you'll hear like niggas say you can't snitch. Now you got niggas like what? Like, sit, now you got niggas like nah, you can do it this way. Like what do you think about like niggas change or trying to change the rules? The rules been changed. Y'all seen the movie, didn't you? Oh yeah. Then y'all see um American Gangster. Everybody seen oh, yeah. that? Now, we they seen gave y'all the blueprint years ago. Yeah, niggas yeah, don't seen. pay attention to the blueprint. What was in the blueprint? What was Denzel doing? Putting the name. Yeah. Connecting the dots. Yeah. Yeah. yeah get, give three, go free. Yeah. You ain't never heard of that. Man. Oh, hey, wait, wait. Look at him. Look at him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Did I say so? Yeah. Give three, go free. That's nah, what they tell you. Well, you know, um, now we know you know more than what you're saying. Y'all got the building, right? man. I got to take it, man. I got to get a picture in front of the building. That's my major building. Yeah, nah, for real, man. For real. Yeah. The, was, I, keep my, I keep my goddamn, uh, I keep my. My TV on first 48. Well, I used to. Now my brother got kids, so I just to watch the shit now. Yeah. It's nah. all right seeing somebody going through it till you have to till go you through it. You have to go through it and then. Shit right there, crazy. I used to watch first. I love first. Because mama said, why are you always watching that person? Because it's real. Now, my, wait, wait. My, so mama, this, this happening. Wait, when you see on first 48 where a nigga get like a Dr. Pepper and a cigarette and he get just talking and telling and like, uh, you know, they turn the air up real cold. Oh. Leave you there for like six hours and come back and say you're ready to. And they're not a break them. They're not a break them. They're not a break them. Yeah, it's, it's like. It's a, uh, it's a psychological program. Uh, even when you get there, you know how long you've been in the room. You've been there for two hours. We know you got another three hours to sit there. Yeah, let me see. No, that, that, that's Let's the go to lunch. Mandatory when they get there, three hours in the cold room, 30 degrees, cut that bitch down a little more. He moving too much. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, me? We wanted to the nigga put his yeah, 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 yeah. You know, we get him that yeah. one. Okay, we got him now. We got him. <laughs> Mentally. That's, that's, that's one move they put on you. They run in there and they, they offer you hospitality. Yeah. How you doing today, Mr. Kennard? When you're son, 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 it depends on if you're a suspect or um, you're trying to try to tell something. Right. You think um, of what do they know? What do yeah, they know? Yeah. But when they know you know something and trying to get out of it, you know, uh, they good at what they do psychologically. Yeah. Uh, these, these brothers, you know, when, once they find out your frame of mind, nigga, they going to run on that. Uh, you, you, you just like when y'all meet a female. Once you figure out, say, baby, what's up? Okay, that's what, okay. I know how to treat her. Yeah. I know how to rock with her. I know how to talk to her. I know how to handle her. Well, that's that same game when you go in that motherfucking room and sit in that chair. Oh, they know how to handle you. Soon you open, don't nobody know what you're about until you open your mouth. So there, there's, a, there's a case going on today right now in where uh, bas uh, was a football player? Uh, basketball player, um, Andre, Andre Emmett got killed a couple years ago. In, um, okay. They're, they're streaming it live right now because it's a lot of street shit, but, you know, guys are taking the... the uh, oh, the one got killed at the club. Yeah, they got killed at the club, right at the club. So the court, the, the case is going on right now, and um, they, you know, they're using the niggas' partners to cooperate as witnesses. So it's one of the situations where they pretty much just telling everything that happened. Okay. And it's like they're going against whatever code that was built when they was in the game, because everybody was in the game. Everybody's in the game. Right, right. But they just go up to tell... Was, well, was consequences yeah. harsher back then? To where niggas were afraid to just go on a stand and point a nigga out and, and look at a nigga? Man, uh, I got a saying. I ain't never believed in magic till I see my dog get on stand and turn into a snake. Mm. Y'all rewind that. Y'all gotta rewind that. Man, rewind okay. that. Bring it back. Y'all gotta uh, bring, hold on. Bring it back. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, rewind it. I'm gonna say that again. <laughs> I ain't never believed in magic until I see my dog get on a stand and turn into a snake. Ooh. Uh. I got, I got, I'm going to help y'all out real quick. Just, I ain't going to even fuck over you too much. Yeah. But um, in my lifetime, I ain't never met a man that can hold water. Mm. Okay, did that, did, is that clear enough for y'all? He on a some. Balls. He on a some I balls. I ain't never met a man. He on a some. That can hold water. You find me one day, Ken, let me, let me know. Hey, that's. 
Hey. Okay, appreciate you. <laughs> is, 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 is that the God's game? son talking. Godson talking. No, no, yes, sir. Nah, for real. <laughs> get y'all back right on. Um, no, nah, that's crazy. That, that was about as easy as I can put it when it came down, come down to snitching. Yeah. Shit. Man. Uh, I, I, seen, I seen what happened, you know, not to bring up the Trey and Zero, yeah. um, but I seen what happened with um, the big homie, you know, they got pulled over in the car and um, the nigga didn't claim his drink and yeah. y'all know the story. Right. But let me give you some real loyalty story. Let me give you some homeboy story, you know. Uh, the game was um, snitching. Well, you know, he thought cuz snitched on me. Let me, let, me, let me give y'all some real talk on that. The niggas don't even look at it like this. Um, and me and my brother get pulled over in the same way him and Trey got pulled over. You dig what I'm saying? The nigga don't own up to his shit. Um, if you don't own up to yours, nigga, that, that let you know you nigga ain't lower from the jump. Uh, if I'm in the car with you, I shouldn't let you go to jail for something that's mine. That's loyalty. That ain't keeping it real, motherfucker. Where, where that come to keeping it real at? That's not keeping Oh, cool. And he say nothing. He took, he took the drink case. Well, he shouldn't have had to, nigga, when you knew it was yours. Right. That's the loyalty. That ain't here. That's me, man. Am I, am I making sense? Is anybody yes, catching these balls? Nah, for sure. Perfect. Yeah. No, perfect. That's, that's about as perfect as I can put it, you know. Um, but everybody want niggas to be <laughs> loyal. Right. <laughs> Keeping it 1,000. He kept it 1,000. Because he went to prison for you, nigga? Now nah, he was a fool, nigga. Yeah. Stupid as what? Yeah. Now nah, you kept him 1,000. You not let him go to prison for you. How about that? Yeah. Huh? Okay then. Okay, I see. I will let y'all soak in that for a minute. Are we ever gonna see Percy back in that ring? Man? You, <laughs> you gotta I, be one of the highest viewed battle rappers <laughs> in all the shit, all the South. Guys. Well, I do. I'm not gonna lie. Having, when my brother got killed, I had I started writing harder, and um, uh, and I put it all up. I got it, bro. Red. I got I got a nice I got a nice um piece of material for anybody. I don't even think they, nobody want to step in front of me right now with that. I got a lot of anger to unleash. <laughs> but, <Yeah>. um, <laughs> What's the hardest bar you think you done spit? Like, man. Because <sighs> uh, you start getting to the point where you was having like real metaphors. Stella, like, Stella, just, Stella, Stella moments, man. I started. Yeah, you were scaring niggas. Ah! You were scaring niggas. <laughs> um, Literally. The Q Dog bar. When I told the blind man, I had him stepping like a Q Dog with that cane, nigga, in this yeah. bar. That was yeah. a bad one. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, man, I ain't going to lie. I went back. Um, I told Shice I turned his six pack into a barbecue rib shit. You dig what I'm ooh, saying? I ooh. told that nigga, um, nigga, um, my King and Abel boy, nigga. I, I picked up a rock. I said something about um, I, I had I had some nice ones. Nah, nah. One you, slug you, to the head, nigga. That's how King did Abel. You know, I had some. Oh yeah, nah. I, I don't know, man. Oh, I, nah, yeah, he nah, I you, think I think the CAR bar was one of the cleanest bars. You niggas taking calls when I say drive by shoes. Now, nah, nigga, CARs. When I drive by shooting. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That go over a lot of niggas' heat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for real. Don DeMarco. Come on, yeah, man. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Nah. Uh-oh. He said he my, got something. He said it's his turn. Nah, <laughs> my favorite bar is still. Let's go. Not where you wink at, but where it stinks. Oh, <laughs> don't do that, man. <laughs> Not the one that wink and blink, but the one that pulled and stink, nigga. Nah, yeah. Okay. 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 Nah, okay. for real. Yeah. Now, I got to ask, uh, you know, with, with R. Kelly going to the pen, you know, from uh, it's a shame. from uh, Young Thug. These, these celebrities who live this life and have these millions are going to jail now and seeing prison for the first time. Um, from what you experienced, one, did you ever, would you ever did any time with anybody of celebrity status? And two, she has someone, okay, go ahead. Yeah, and two, can, cele- like, can celebrities, when you live that kind of life, do you feel like they could adjust quickly to the prison lifestyle? Say it again, that last question. What was the last? feel like celebrities can adjust quickly. Oh, no. Like within a week never. or two. Never. Mm. Never. But then a year it. or two. Ooh. Within five years or two. Damn. Uh, how how I'm going to take you from that, from them, how I'm going to take you out there? What you got on Gucci over there? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. And, and put you on, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'll take you out to Gucci and throw you in some dickies. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking, I'm talking, now I go, now, now so who, go, we got to go low, how low can we go? Bob Barker. Bob, Bob, say Bob Barker's. Mm. Well, they, they say, ooh. Mm. I mean, we, we, you, 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 Jackie Chains. Take you out them Jordan and throw you on some regular Jackie Chains. Mm. Give you something, yeah. Take you out them, yeah. Uh, now, celebrities don't adjust quick. Have I did, uh, shout out to 50 50 Twin. Oh, you was with 50 50? I quit playing, man. Come on. Tell us from a crib. Let's go. Me and 50 50 Twin was on Ferguson unit together, man. He, he, he was with the, the nation. And he tell me one time, he said, brother, I want you to, uh, I know, look at your eyes. I know y'all looking crazy. But anyway, he tell me, he tell me one time, he said, brother, Percy, I want you to do a, he wants you to do a song with me at the Tylene service. I said, well, I don't do no Tylene, nigga. I ain't no Muslim. 
He said, well, you don't got to come. He said, just come to the Tylene service. It's not about uh, transitioning you. It's just about giving you the way. Uh, shout out to Tylene. Shout out to 5050 Twin and T. Lee right now that's over the Tylene service and the Muslim program on the Ferguson unit. Because if it wasn't for 5050 Twin, I never would have went down there to get no knowledge. That's to really. learn no truth. You know, and I wouldn't have been a uh, more spiritual person than I am today if I wouldn't have hung around that crowd of young men because I was stuck in the Christian life. But um, 50 50 Twin said, man, let's do a song, man. So me and 50 50 Twin did a song on Ferguson Unit right now today. Everybody that was there, uh, what tripped me out when uh, he, he got me some layouts to know, turn out for class. He got me some beats. He told me who he was, but nigga, I didn't know who he was. He said, I'm 50 50 Twin. Well, I, I, don't, I don't listen to 50 50 Twin. I'm from mm -hmm. Fort Worth. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah. I'm from Twisted Black. And then I heard a song on the radio one night when I was in my penitentiary cell, and nigga yelled out, that's 50 50 Twin. I said, no, it ain't 50 50 Twin in jail. That nigga, uh. He said, it's two of them. They brothers. I said, it's two of them? Yeah. He said, yeah, yeah it's two of them. He said, you got little brother stuff. But um, my greatest start I did, me and 50 50 Twin did a, um, a, um, a, 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 a Tylene concert. And we came in um, that day, when it, the day of the um, concert, we went into the, um, the studio, the, um, the auditorium. Yeah. It was so, the gym, what's it called? The, um, the auditorium. I put the auditorium. Yeah. Um, it was so big. It was so many. It was so many people, and I was like, God damn! Even niggas that don't even go to church was just coming. Just, yeah, nah, for real, just bro. Nah. Rap. They said fifty fifty rapping tonight at the, the Tyleen service. I mean, any old jam. I like damn. I said everybody. They had to turn people around to go back. And we ain't got no more room in here. Damn, that's I it. like damn. But um, me and fifty fifty twin did our thing on stage on Ferguson Unit. Man, that's the um, story. I still got his number. I still got his information hey, shout down out there. 5050 twin. Okay, shout out fifty fifty twin. And the kind of skin in my bed. This is what I want to tell fifty fifty twin. I came home, found out, nigga, you is who you said you was. Mm. That tripped me out. <laughs> now there you go. Not for real. He got H town sold up, man. Sold up like <laughs> yeah, hey, bro, you probably believe that nigga. Yes, sold up. Sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. What? What? That was A. Hey, that Ask was A. Hey, what y'all say? Say, if anybody can tell y'all about OG Percy on Ferguson. What? Come on now. Come what? on now. Ask, ask 50 50 about OG. He the one took me out of my. He the one says, brother, I'm, I'm going to try to put you. I can't. I can't. You know, this is how you talk. I can't control what you do when you go down the hall. <laughs> when you down here, just come, come ride with me. You good people, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, that's yeah. all right, man. And he took a lot off my back. You know what I'm saying? He took a lot of. Um, that's real. No um shit that I didn't need that, that they were fucking with me that that even that don't even gotta be a part of your day to day, brother. That's real. You know what, then you know what you right. Come on over and ride with me. Get on these weights over here and pump these weights with me. Get on these push-ups over here with me. That's you real. Show right, because you know if I want to run him, shit. And then he can say, say, but I'm trying to work with you, but I can't have you doing what you're doing on the rec yard. Did be over the Tali rapping. <laughs> right. I'm like, yo, now come on now. Now y'all, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's looking for a change. You had to do show. So what I would do, I would know ease back. You know what I'm saying? Because you know you had to show how much you wanted. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and those type of experiences gave me a good edge out here in life too. When I came home, Facts. you know what I'm saying? I put that, I put that, I put that to work for me. Facts. Shout out to Fifty Fifty Twin, man. He was a big part of it. Now shout out Fifty Fifty, man. Did anybody, did any celebrities ever come visit? I've been seeing like Kanye visiting uh, uh, certain prisons, and uh -huh. did, did any. Did any celebrities come to see you while, or see y'all while y'all was in there? And if oh uh, no, no, never. You know, I was Eddie Kane. Yeah. Uh huh. You already know it. So bam, that's the that's the duration of that episode. So that was part one and part two. So that was part two. Yeah, man, OG person, man. Shout out OG person, bro. Yeah, man. Salute the OG, bro. Um, like I said on the first, uh, like I said on part one, fuck, I only, I only really react to and do commentary on the shit that I really fuck with. So be dope in the building, fuck. If I'm posting it, there's something about that bitch that's interesting. So, cause uh, I swear, I'm too much to get my motherfucking attention. I swear to y'all. But uh, yeah, we here. Uh, I'm tired as a bitch though, ain't lying to you. Um, fuck. But I never went got the bottle yet though, y'all. I ain't never go get the bottle. So, take that under consideration. <laughs> yeah, y'all take that under consideration, yeah, man. Nigga ain't go get the motherfucking bottle yet. But I will. Definitely gonna get the motherfucking bottle, man.
Appreciate all the followers, subscribers, man. Whoever rocking with the shit. Time in on the shit, shining shit. All that shit, man. Appreciate y'all. Salute for that. Um, What else I'm about to say before I get up out this bitch? I ain't really got too much to say. Like, when I do the videos at night like this, yeah, I really don't got no conversation. Man. I'm talking about it. I'm fucking... I'm laid back like a motherfucker. Yeah, swear to God, I done sip some syrup and I don't even drink no syrup. But nigga tired, been in the Josephine Johnny all day, so. Yeah, I got some dope shit dropping soon. So y'all be ready for that, though. You feel me? But that's it for today's episode. Action video like never before with Red G TV, man. Late night edition. That was OG Person Show No Mercy, man. You already know. Tap in on tap out. Log in on log out. All good movies must come to a motherfucking man. And you gotta take naps. <laughs> Real shit.